Hello friends, hope you're doing well on this uh, beautiful Monday. Uh, more rain coming today. Praise God. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to go food shopping uh, with my mom at the AMP in Downingtown. And uh, when we would go to the lunch meat counter, which, you know, we had to do a lot because of all the kids in our family, uh, we would have to wait for this one particular guy to slice my mom's lunch meat. It wasn't so much that he did it better than the others, but let's just say he was very generous. A pound from that guy was probably more like a pound and a third. I think he understood uh, my mom's circumstances, you know, lots of kids. And, and uh, my mom used to say, oh, she likes the way that he slices it. Yeah, give him extra. Not so good for A and P, but it did come from certainly a very good place in his heart. Uh, we could say he had a generous heart. What about us, right? Not so much with lunch meat or sharing our uh, employer's stuff, uh, but the way we treat other people, particularly the way we judge them or are empathetic towards them. The gospel today is the famous, uh, don't focus on the splinter in your eye, in your brother's eye, when you've actually got a plank in your own, right? Uh, it's a larger context of how do we look at people? Jesus isn't saying, oh, don't notice that people do bad things, right? That's, that's just a reality. Um, but when we see that they're doing bad things, do we judge them in a way that's condemning? Something that's reserved only for God himself because he understands everything. Rather, we should be generous, much like the guy at the lunch meat counter. Uh, we should think the best. We should be slow and patient with them. It's hard, it's hard. But the reality is if we need a motivator, that's how we want God to be with us, all right? I know I want God to be understanding. I want God to be patient. I want God to be empathetic. And so God wants me to do the same for others. So let's be generous, not so much with lunch meat, but with our understanding, our compassion, and our love. And may God bless you today, Father, Son, Holy Spirit.